This is digital artwork which I created on my iPad using an app called Nomad and 3D printed them. Grab your iPad and follow along. Stretch, cube, and cut. Duplicate and arrange. Make invisible and merge. Chin, jaw, cheeks. Smooth brush. Circle trim to start the mouth. Rectangle trim. Clay build up tool to roughly create the lips. Trim with lasso tool. Cut away at different angles. Mouth looks nice. Give it a nose. The shape is crude and rough, but it's starting to look like a mask. At this point, I still don't have a clear vision in mind, but I'm still freestyling and smoothing out my edges and just creating different cuts here and there. Add a sphere to the scene. This is going to be a tooth. Flattened, squeezed, dent. These are omnivore teeth, but this beast is going to be consuming a little bit more flesh. After the teeth are situated, I'm going to duplicate and rotate. Pull up on the canines. I'm creating the tusk with a donut tool. Trim away with the circle tool. Trim the sides. These tusks are as sharp as the ones that mangled old yeller. The best dog on dog in the world. After situating the tusk, trim away the excess. Add a sphere. Stretch height. Dent the top. Slice away the sides and now it's looking like a fang. Smooth out the sharp edges. I went a little bit extra and added some roots to the fangs. I don't know why I did that. Once I put it on the mask, you're not going to see the roots of the fangs. Now that it has beautiful chompers, it's time to work on the gums with the inflate tool. After giving it a nose, I used the masking tool to help me extrude a face and make it look like a rabbit looking Batman. Now this mask needs some teeth in the back of the mouth so it can grind and I want to give you PTSD if you ever had your wisdom teeth taken out. I pushed them deep into the back of the gums. With the masking tool, yep, we're gonna do the obvious, we're gonna add gills. You know what they say, gills pay the bills. I'm adding gills because one of my favorite characters in Hellboy is Abe Sapien. Merge and smooth, freestyle some details, turn down opacity, dig into the sculpture, hollow out the nose. This mask is no longer crude so I'm working on all the little tiny details that I want this mask to have when I print it. Even some HR Geiger details on the insides. This is what I call plumping up your holes. The masks that I've been making are kind of hard to breathe in so I added some nose holes. This is almost as satisfying as picking your nose when I'm making these holes. My man, those holes are smooth. I turn down the opacity again to make the mask a little bit more thinner. If my mask is too thick, it's going to use too much liquid resin and also it's going to take a long time to print. Some flat edges also adds contrast to all the round shapes that's going on in the mask. This is my 3D signature. When I'm done with the mask, I export it as an STL file and open it in my slicer and it's very tiny so I upsize it to 100 millimeters wide, use a measure tool to measure the width which is 170 millimeters from my face and click enter. Rotate it to fit my build plate and add supports. Make sure your supports are stronger than the supports that you got as a kid. After 10 hours, my print is done using my Photon Mono X2. I use water washable resin because it prints fast and I get smooth prints. Heat up the supports for easy removal. Spray with 99% isopropyl alcohol to make less slippery. I was still a beginner with resin printing so I used a lot of supports. Way too many supports, like too much. Don't worry, it's not going into the ocean. On my YouTube channel, I have a long video that goes over the whole process of how I lessened the supports. Right now, resin is about $30 a bottle so I don't want to throw away any of these supports. I keep them in the bucket and I'll reuse them in a later video for a later project. The model is still kind of slippery and there's resin left on the surface so it goes into a bath of 99% alcohol and I leave it in there for a couple minutes. While it's spinning in the bath is a great time <laughs> to clean the bill plate. I soak it with alcohol and give it a wipe. I do this a couple times. Reinstall. I fill it back up with resin and in this video I'm filling it with Elegoo water washable resin. I also really enjoy any cubic and it's pretty much equal so I'll switch between the two brands. The mask is all done and I still see some remnants of the support so I'll just pick them off. I start off with filament printing at first because there's a lot of steps with resin 3D printing for sure. I say this because there's one more step I need to show you which is UV curing. This machine cures the resin and makes it inert. This kind of light is what makes the liquid resin turn into a solid. That's how it's made.